how to add text to a curve in Affinity Photo, as well as, of course, Designer and Publisher as well. First thing to do, let's just create a curve. And it can be any curve. I'm just going to go with the most basic one, which, of course, is an ellipse tool for me. But you can use anything. So here's the curve. And also, go over here, Artistic Text Tool. Now, if you want the background, you want the amber, you want the black, you have to duplicate the layer because what will happen? It will remove all the style to this as soon as you click it with the tool. Now, if I hover over here, you can see the A, that crosshairs. If I hover over here, you can see this curve T. Now, this is for version 1 as well as version 2.5, 2. etc. Don't think it's changed. But obviously, please put in the comments below if you found issues with this because quite a few people do for some weird reason. It doesn't seem to work. So what you need to do is just click on the curve. And I'm just going to click, say, here. And as soon as you do that, you notice what happens. As I mentioned, the fill, everything's gone. But now you've got some text in. So this is some text. And you can, of course, create a whole variety of different text using this character panel here. There's lots of options. So some text. And you can see, continue there, some text and more. Well, you might think, you know what, I don't want it in that position. I want it to be moved to the top. Here's the start point. Here's the finish point. And you can just go over here and you can just drag this around. Just simply just drag using this green. Now it's on the outside of the curve. And I can move that there. I can move that around, move it around. It's still on the outside. Now you can see, orange. I'm just coming to the finish point. And as soon as I do that, it jumps inside. So just put it there and you've got it inside. And you can go back here. And now you can move this around and now it's inside so you can reposition it outside inside also you can if you want just do that you can see you've got that moving right around like that go here you can combination these things you can actually just move it up the blow reposition the start and finish and you can reposition you can create a variety of different texts inside as well as outside up to you what you want to do with the text so there's a great way of manipulating it does a little bit of fiddling around but you can get it to create all kinds of different designs. So let's just undo that. Don't want that. I want it there. And you can see also you've got this. This pops up. You think, what's that? Well, if I click that, just that little, you can see a little eye. Very tiny, but it is there. So click that eye, and you can see now the text is hidden. It's just cut off because you've got that red marker there. So I'm just going to click there. I'm showing all the text. And I can then reposition this and move it around. There's also a few other options that you can do, which are quite useful. So let's just click here. You can see I can move this and get it outside. Again, I can move that. But what I can do, hold down the Shift key. So hold down the Shift. And now you can see it sticks together here, which is slightly odd. Let's just reposition it again like that. Here's the orange. This is the, the end point, And here's the start point. So now hold down the shift. Now it will always stay at the same position. That's what you need to do. So just make sure you get it in the right position to start with. Otherwise, you straight away it goes a bit weird. So again, you can just then hold down the shift and you can reposition it and then you won't have any sort of flipping backwards and forwards as it does at random moments when you don't want it. Okay, so I can now position it at the top there. Also, there's another option, command or control. And you can hold that down. And now, what you do, you can then go here, the green again. I'm just going to go with it. That will approach closer and closer and closer. And then it flips again. So you can create some interesting combination by using the shift as well as command or control key. And you can see then you move that way and it goes backwards and forwards. But I want it like that. I'm happy with that. Well, what you can do, go to the move tool. And then you can convert it to a curve. There's an option here, convert to curve. Maybe off the screen, depending on this little here. You can just click here and expand this out and you'll see it. Also, if you can't see it, right click and convert to curves. Now, the curve is gone, but you've got your text. And you'll notice what you've got then. You've got this group and you can expand it out and you've got the E, you can select the individual characters, recolor, etc. You can see the fill here, so you can click here and just change the color. Now let's just bring that back again. So I've got my curve. So I've got my curve and I've got my text. Also what you can do 
is you can go here and artistic text tool, double click and double click again and all the text is click selected. Just double click once and word sum has been selected. Well, you can change things. You can see here, I can go over here and I can change the color. So just click there, maybe make it green. I can also change the back. So click here and let's go make it red. So you've got some change in that curve and the text. But also this character panel and this is window and again text and you've got all the options here, glyph, etc. But characters are really useful. You can then manipulate this. So let's just change that, maybe a bit bigger. But also you can go here to the baseline. And then you can just, let's just increase that. And you can see what happens. The text goes outwards, spans outwards further and further. Or go the other way. So click there. And now it's inside. Like that. So you can create a variety of different designs using that. So let's just select all of the text. So let's just make double click again. Let's go to the artistic text tool. Double click. All text selected. Again, baseline hit, which is here, and then just increase that. So at 16 point, you can see it's a bit further away from that baseline. And also you can do it the other way. So just down there, just reduce it down, reduce it down, and then it's inside, but still in the upright way that I think it should be. And then go there, and you can just drag it around. Of course, again, you've got the same issue here. As soon as you hit this finish point, or again, hold down the shift, and then you can still continue just to move it around, reposition it without worrying about it suddenly splitting into two or the top part or the bottom part. The shape can still be manipulated. So you can go up here, make sure you've got the move tool selected there, and then you just rotate it this way. So if you want the text obviously moved around, you can reposition it like that. Also, you can always resize it. So as you do that, you can see the text changes there. Also, of course, resize it that way and distort it in all kinds of ways. Also, once you're happy with your text, you, you think this is great, you can either leave it as a vector design, so you've got over here, it's vector design, but you can always rasterize it. So layer, and then go down here and rasterize. So you rasterize the text, you may not want to do that, but once it's rasterized, of course you can then use it with filters, distort, deform, spherical, and so on, maybe mirror, to create all kinds of other additional effects with your text and click apply. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. The text tool and the curves, I find slightly frustrating to use, I must admit at times, but it can be used to create some very interesting designs. But the start point and end point does occasionally take a little bit of working with. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Always adding new tutorials all the time. Bye.